Rachel is an American woman and Jun is a Japanese man and they are married to each other and they have cats. They make videos about their cats and their wonderful amazing lives in Japan which is such a fantastic good country. In total they have four channels on YouTube. The main channel Rachel and Jun plus Jun's Kitchen and Rachel and Jun's Adventures and then finally Jun Yoshizuki. On the Rachel and Jun's Adventures channel, they have videos mostly focusing on their cats and the mundane parts of their lives, which they thought were too boring for their main channel. On the Jun's Kitchen channel, he shows off his cooking skills and how great of a husband he is. And on the Jun Yoshizuki channel, he has the exact same kind of content as his Jun's Kitchen channel cooking videos. Why not just put it all onto the same channel, Jun? Now, my main problem with Rachel and Jun is their videos are so boring. A Japanese apartment tour. We hired a Japanese moving company. We're moving. And for some reason, even though their content is really dull, mundane, and sterile, they managed to get insane amounts of views. Look at this, 2 million, 6.1 million. Every single video they get gets at least a million or more than a million. In most cases, 2 million. I don't understand how they get so many views every single time. It's not normal for a channel to get more views than they have subscribers, but nearly every single time they upload a video, they get more views than they have subscribers. For example, you take a look at a typical channel like Broad in Japan, which has 1.3 million subscribers. He doesn't get over a million views every time. He gets two to 400,000 views every time, which is normal. That's the regular amount of views that a channel that size should normally be getting. But for some reason, Rachel and Jun seem to be able to manage to get more views than they have subscribers nearly every upload. And I think something fishy is going on because either the content is top tier, amazing, perfect, wonderful content which deserves all those views, or something's happening behind the scenes at YouTube and they're favouring Rachel and Jun because they are family friendly PC and very respectable and likeable. Well, I'm sorry, Rachel and Jun, but I just don't think that your content is that amazing that it deserves more than 2 million views every single time you upload. I think you deserve maybe a couple hundred thousand views, just like our friend Chris Broad gets. Why do you get so many views? Look at this, Jun's Kitchen's channel, which has 3.5 million subscribers, gets insane amounts of views. Look, 7.7 .7 million, 6.4 million, 3.5 million. Every single upload is an amazing viral hit for him. How the hell does he manage to get a viral hit every single upload? Now, for most of us YouTubers, viral hits are very important because it's the easiest way to get explosive growth on your channel. If you don't get viral hits, then your channel, well, frankly, it starts to stagnate and it starts to die. And most of us don't really know how to get viral hits. We basically just wing it, make a lot of videos, and hope that one day one of them will go viral. But not Jun, our special wonder boy here, manages to get a viral hit every single time. What is so amazing about his ideas and his video titles that managed to pull in these insane amount of views? Cooking birthday presents for my wife. Blueberry cheesecake homemade yogurt. Taking my cats for a walk. 3.6 million people wanted to see him take his cats for a walk. His latest video, which was five months ago, is literally him just cleaning his pots and pans and showing you how to get rust off it. And for some reason, 1.6 million people thought that would be interesting and clicked on it. I bet he could make a video scraping mud off his boots and it would get 5 million views. Okay, I get it. There's a lot of people interested in Japan, and Japan is a very fascinating place for a lot of people. But there are loads and loads of other Japanese Japan-related channels, and they don't get anywhere near the views that Rachel and Jun get. Take Abroad in Japan, for example. He makes way better, higher quality content than Rachel and Jun do. Does he get the views they get? No, he doesn't. What is so special about Rachel and Jun? I have no idea. But it's like they have a friend in YouTube, at YouTube, who are just pushing out their videos every time. Another thing that irritates me about Rachel and Jun is their upload frequency is absolutely appalling. They make maybe one or two videos every couple of months. In the past year alone, they've only made a total of eight videos on their main channel. How can they only make eight videos in an entire year? Either they're really, really busy or they're really, really lazy. I can make eight videos in a week. If they're getting millions and millions of hits every single upload, why are they not taking advantage of this? Why aren't they making more videos? Why aren't they making a video every week? Why not every day? Why not just milk their popularity dry 
what are they waiting for? It just kind of feels like they don't care about their channels and they're just doing it on a whim as a hobby, as a side thing, something they don't really care about whilst they do whatever they're doing in their real lives. I don't even know why they have proper jobs. They probably have proper jobs because I, otherwise what would they be doing? Why have proper jobs when you're getting millions and millions and millions and millions of views every upload just by uploading onto YouTube? Wouldn't it be better to focus on that instead of whatever else you're doing? The chemistry between Rachel and Jun is also very weird. It's kind of like watching a human being interact with a robot. Rachel is like a stereotypical, loud, energetic, hyperactive American person who's bouncing off of the walls. And Jun is just basically like a piece of wood who barely has any emotional reaction to anything Rachel says. There's barely anything interesting about either of them, which is kind of strange considering that they're internet personalities but they barely have any personalities at all, and yet they're still able to captivate the interest of millions and millions and millions of people by doing pretty mundane everyday stuff, just because they're in Japan, I guess that's the appeal. The other kind of content that you'll see quite often on their channels are about their cats. They have two fluffy ginger cats, maybe more, I'm not sure, and they're very, very good at making clickbaity cat thumbnail content, which a lot of people seem to be interested in. And Jun actually attaches a leash to his cat and walks it around outside in public and takes it for bike rides, placing it in the basket at the front of his bicycle, which is just so weird. I would never even dream about taking my cat out in public. It will just have a heart attack or scratch my face off trying to run away. So in conclusion, my review of Rachel and Jun would be around 2.5 out of 10. They do not make interesting content, they're not interesting as people, and they do not deserve the insane amount of views that they easily get every single time. It's like they don't even put effort into making videos, they just wash some pots and pans, boom, 1.6 million views. Whilst the rest of us, who don't have friends who work at YouTube, have to struggle along getting crappy views. And if you want to see content about Japan, I would recommend Abroad in Japan, which is a channel which is actually worth watching. Good quality, good production, good narration. And the host of Abroad in Japan actually has a personality, unlike Jun. Hello, today we're going to be watching some pots and pans. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I wash my pots and pans. Squeaky clean, as you can see. Just how I like them.